Hello everyone. I'm out here today with my fruit trees. You can see here I have a Saturn peach tree blooming. Nice pink colored blooms. Let's see what it, a picture of what the fruit's supposed to look like. Kind of a, a squat shaped peach. <clears throat> and I also have a couple varieties of apricots. Apricots need at least two separate varieties to make fruit. And they're just starting to to make buds. And then a couple small apple trees back here that I put in last year. And these larger ones are two years old. I didn't get anything fruit-wise last year because a bad-timed um, warm-up and then frost killed all the flowers off. Killed all the flowers off my magnolia tree out front. Killed all the, killed all the flowers <clears throat> off my Asian pear trees, so I got no Asian pears. So that was just a bad year for fruit trees. And of course there was, there was probably some uh, means of protecting them that I could have employed, but I'm honestly I'm not as big on the fruit trees because I don't know so as much about them. I'm not I'm not much of a fruit eater, but I, you know I grow them mostly for sale at the market and the restaurants. <clears throat> but this year I hope to get some good results but every year one of the major problems I have is all the deer that come through my uh, forested area you can see behind my garden I have a bit of a, a path that goes off into the woods and the deer kind of use that as a highway and they come up here and munch on all the brush but deer in general really love the taste of young fruit tree leaves and if you don't do anything to protect them, they'll pretty much munch them down to, uh, to nubs. You'll easily see deer damage by broken stems with no greenery, and it'll be chew marks at the end of it. You know, not a, not a nice clean cut like you've pruned it. Which by the way, I pruned all these about a month ago. And you should always prune your trees um, after the, the major cold is done with in the winter. You never want to prune them in the fall because then they have to survive a really deep cold. It's always like late January, you know, February, early March, that, that time frame. But anyhow, I've tried a variety of ways to protect these trees in the past from the deers getting at them. You can see these posts I have up. These are just seven foot tall posts. You know, although they're six feet tall once you pound them into the ground. And I think the first year I tried just some, some of the same metal fencing. You can see here that I have around my garden. It's also six, seven foot high fencing marketed for deer. And it's pretty tough. And that worked well. I just kind of like made corrals of it and then used the same garden staples to attach it to the ground so the the weather didn't kind of push it away but the deer kind of still could push into it and get at the trees and so then I put the poles up and wrapped the metal fencing all the way around which worked well it kept the deer out but then it also makes it a hassle to undo the fence every time I want to get in there and weed whack all this grass because it'll it'll get thick and tall in there too. I need to actually add some compost around these trees as well. But anyhow, and so the using the metal fence and having to adjust it because you know the tree is getting larger, so you have to expand it and all that. That starts to get a pain in the butt. Um, plus, the metal fence is a bit more expensive. So what I have today, well, also too. After I used the metal fence, I went to kind of like a, a lightweight uh, plastic netting. And that was probably the worst thing I could have used because then the, uh, the bucks with antlers came in and just tore it all the heck. And I wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised if there was a, a buck around here that has a big section of uh, netting attached to its antlers somehow. But today I have some really good stuff. You can see this is two inch square 
deer fencing, six feet tall. I believe it's a 10X, T-E-N-E-X brand. Let's see what it's at. C, C Flex is the model of it. 72, 72 inches by 100 foot roll is what I got. Off of eBay. And the stuff is supposed to be rated for 650 pounds, which will be plenty enough to keep a uh, large deer from pushing into it and thinking you can get through it easily. I'll be able to use some cable ties just to get it up there at the top. I'm going to mount it too with about, oh, about a foot of space underneath so I can slide the uh, weed whacker in and chop the weeds up without having to remove the fence every time. But, too, I'm going to make some S hooks with some uh, old electrical wire to connect the fence together. And that will be easy to, to I can undo the hooks and then take the fence apart if I need to get in there and harvest anything. And maybe leave a little bit of slack if I got enough fencing to uh, expand the posts. Although I don't think, I'm going to try to keep these trees from getting much wider. These ones kind of want to grow vertically anyhow, so it's all about how you trim them to get the shape you want. So I'm going to undo this fence, get it up there, and we'll take a look at how well it's going to protect everything. And I have it around both these trees. I think it looks pretty good. It lets the light pass through it pretty well. Can't really see it that bad from a distance. I was looking at the uh, construction barrier fencing they had at like Lowe's and Home Depot and Menards and places like that, but I couldn't find it in a black color. All they had was orange, and it's like, yeah, I don't want to use like orange everywhere. It looks like I have a big construction site back here. But you see, I have it attached with some pieces of 14 gauge electrical wiring. I really like using the wiring because you can bend it in the shape with your fingers and it holds strong enough when you twist it around you see I can pull on it real hard and it won't untwist I just use three of those to close this up and you can see although even if a deer pushed into the fence they could still eat a little bit but they couldn't really couldn't really harm the tree to the point where I don't get any production and just just the fence being there hopefully will be a deterrent for the deer. So we'll see how, how that holds up throughout the year and hopefully I'll get some fruit to show you.